In a previous lesson, we discussed the ways in which gender and genetic influences create differences in individuals. These influences were implanted by God within you before you were born. From the perspective of those who love the Lord who made us, these differences are wonderful. Listen to King David's song of thanks to the one who fashioned him to fulfill God's purposes. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalms chapter 139 verse 14. If you don't fully appreciate these very unique facets which embody you, you're going to have problems trusting your Creator. And as we've mentioned before, if you want to experience relational intimacy with your spouse, you need to humbly recognize and appreciate how very different he or she is from you. That's the only way you can live cooperatively with each other in loving union. A number of God-given unchangeable characteristics make up the person you are. Only our Lord could explain to you why He's given you these particular qualities. Your physical features. Your mental capabilities. Your parents. Your gender. Your birth order. Your brothers and sisters. Your nationality your race, your time in history, your aging and lifespan. Which of these characteristics inspire negative feelings in you? You may have struggled for years to come to grips with one or more of these unchangeable characteristics that help identify you. When you refuse to graciously accept any of these characteristics from our Father's hand, you're allowing distrust in God to fester, and that plays right into Satan's schemes. Over time, distrust in our Lord breeds a host of other problems in your pilgrimage to salvation. Your false expectation that any of these ten characteristics should have been different leaves you vulnerable. The most frequent trap Satan sets for those who rail against the way they're made is bitterness and resentment. It's important for you on your pilgrimage to salvation to free yourself from any dissatisfaction you have with your God-given characteristics. If you're bothered by any of these characteristics, repent. Don't hold anything against your Creator. He's the judge of all the world and you don't want to be judging Him. And if you need to, go to the people from whom you need to ask forgiveness for having blamed them for who you are.